I'm Tom Harmer, your town manager. Today I'm here at the Tennis Center with Kay Thayer, our Tennis Center manager, and wanted to share some information with you about this great facility we have here in the town. So, Kay, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes. So, sometimes I think this is a bit of a secret out here that some people, number one, don't realize it's here, and number two, they also don't realize it's associated with the town. So can you start off by describing a little bit about what the facility includes? Sure, and I, I agree with that. Yeah. We still get people that come very often yeah. and say, oh, we didn't even know it was here. Yeah. And uh, we say, yep, they went to the post office and realized we were here. So I do think it's something that people don't know about, but it's it, it has become bigger and bigger. And I do think the Tennis Center is a really nice community place for people um, you know yes it's a tennis center but most people come to see their friends you know so, I think people get mo more upset when it rains because they this is their social time not so necessarily their tennis uh, so there is a social aspect to it very much uh. I mean when somebody's injured that's the first thing they mm. say is oh I missed coming because I didn't get to see anybody I didn't get to talk to all my friends um, whether they play on the same court or not, they everybody kind of congregates and they, they get to visit and make plans and mm -hmm. talk about what they're going to do during the week. So I, I think that's is what makes this place such a nice place. It's not just tennis. It, it's a community place for everyone. All right, very good. And so how many courts are out here? What, when you come out here, what do you see? Well, we have 10 clay courts, which that's something everybody loves to hear. They love the clay courts rather than the hard courts. Um, we also have a little small teaching court um, that it's not, uh, you can't play on it, but we do lessons and we do ball machine, which is good for us because when we're busy, <clears throat> every court counts. So mm -hmm. that, that relieves the court for somebody to play. But we have 10, we have six on, um, on the main side. Mm -hmm four across the street and uh, that's when we when we added the four it really brought the tennis center to a new level because we were able to add a lot more things mm -hmm. with the extra courts um, yeah. so that was good. very good so, so there's also a, a store or pro shop here as well yes um, when the new building got built in 2010 that was another big notch for the tennis center <laughs> because it really it really increased everything um, with the, the apparel that we do. We, we offer tennis rackets and grips and clothing and socks and anything you can think of. And it's really become a lot of people mm -hmm. now drive out like on a rainy day, they'll come out to shop uh, yes. because they know we've got a nice selection and there's not that many places anymore. There's uh, Total Tennis down in Sarasota mm -hmm. And I think we're one of the shops that people really come to to even just shop just to come out, even if they don't play tennis. Um, our league matches bring yes. a lot of people in to shop also, especially the, the women, I should say, <laughs> not the men. <laughs> well, yes, and, and I'm, I'm wearing, I think, the right branding you today. Are. But this was a Christmas gift from my wife who stopped by the shop That's uh, right, cause uh, it's this year. The so. women that buy the clothes yes. for their husbands, <laughs> yes. And so I, I know you also hold tournaments out here. I was out here uh, during the holidays and, and it was impressive to see the level of play that's out here as well. It, it is. That particular tournament yeah. is the USTA Category 2 tournament, mm -hmm. which means in USTA they get the most points for playing it. So we end up getting the best players in the country because mm -hmm. they want their points um, to go for their rankings. And this year we had 400 people here uh, that was really a big event and it, it really includes all of Longboat Key mm -hmm. because we use other facilities like Longboat Key Club, Club Longboat, you know, the different facilities mm -hmm. out here, for example, and they all help uh, us make it a, a great tournament. And friends, our friends of tennis are the ones that really host that, and they do an unbelievable job um, with it, and they raise a lot of money for the tennis center by doing the tournament. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the friends of tennis. Uh, the town maintains the operations here day to day, and that's all funded through membership fees and user fees. But the friends, as a partner, work with you annually to identify 
other things that could occur here on the site to enhance the property. Yes. And they do that through their own private fundraising and other donations to assist. Yes, I mean, for instance, our our furniture out here on the deck that we're sitting on, they've, they bought that for the mm -hmm. tennis center. And those are things that are big items that would be really difficult for us mm -hmm. to, to do through our budget. So things like this are things that they do. They put up canopies and different kind of h higher end things that really enhance um, the tennis center that we probably wouldn't be able to do yeah, ourselves. That, that's really enhanced the whole complex oh, here in that done partnership. So, they've done so many things. In fact, the four courts across the street, um, they, they paid for those. Yeah. Back, way back in the day so they've done so many things it's it's hard to even say how much yes. but they're they're a big part of the tennis center yeah that's good that's great to hear so it is membership based or user fee based so how many members are there we have probably give or take 400 members mm -hmm. it could be a little less a little more depending on the year um, so we have the membership and just the people that walk on that come to visit Longboat mm -hmm. Key that you know pay as they go so we have a, a big variety of people people that are going to play a lot they'll join um, some people are say members at another club mm -hmm. but they'll come here and play you know uh, also so they'll pay as they go um, so we have a nice variety from from all over a longboat along with people you know yes. you know bird key yep. and different places that have been and lived on longboat for a long time okay. And you mentioned the teaching court. Uh, in addition to uh, groups coming out here and playing foursomes, twosomes, uh, you also uh, have lessons out here as well. Yes, that's a that's a a big thing here. People love to take lessons. We have lessons. We've got clinics. Um, so we try to allot as much time for the teaching mm -hmm. as we can because it is we we could we could probably have you know teach all day every day with mm -hmm. more than more than what we yeah. have um, but it's just it's a balancing act uh, really with all the different things that go on here uh, that we've got to oh. do throughout the day with our leagues our round robins we have all kinds of things that go along during the day so we have to balance everything out so everybody that comes here and joins is able to get what they oh. want for the most part well, and I know uh, I've been out here uh, a number of times and you wear multiple hats. So you're the town center manager. You're also one of the teaching pros. Yes. And I've also seen you, I don't know if this is the right terminology, but raking the courts uh, yes. and, and doing a number of other things here. So. Well, I think that's what makes the tennis center what it is. I mean, everybody has to pitch in yeah. at every job. Um, you know, the people that work the desk, they, they come out, they help when needed, you know, everybody, it's a, it's a team effort because yeah. there is a lot that goes on during the day and, uh, you know, you got to pitch in to make it what it, what it is. Yeah. So yeah, I know you're very hands-on, so we appreciate that. Yes, thank uh, you. So how long have you been with the town as the town center or the tennis center manager? Well, as the tennis center manager, I believe I became the official tennis center manager probably about 2009, 2010, okay. right in that area. Um, but I've been with the tennis center since, uh, I hate to say, <laughs> <laughs> um, I first got here, mm -hmm. I think, November 1999, yeah. so about 2000. Okay. So we'll say over 20 years yes. for sure. Yes. Yeah, so, and it's really grown a lot oh, since then. It's, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. I, when I look back, you know, it was busy and we had all kinds of things going, but now when I look back, uh, it's just, it's grown yeah. so much that it's, we just have so many things going on and so many new people mm -hmm. and so many people coming in and out that it's definitely changed from the beginning. So um, how many other team members are there that assist you? Uh, you mean? Like town employees. Town employees. Well, I've got, uh, in the season here, I, I would say I have around six desk mm -hmm. people, people that help at the, in the office, mm -hmm. a couple, you know, an assistant, uh, the man, the, uh, for the merchandise, mm -hmm. I have somebody that helps with that and works the desk. We have three of us that teach, 
So we have mm -hmm. three people that teach. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, we mm -hmm. all kind of pitch in and do what we're, what needs to be done. And you mentioned seasonal. You, you kind of gear up your staffing to accommodate the season, which is, I assume, generally November through April. There's probably some yeah, peaks in like there. Yeah, like October to the end of mm -hmm. April or however long <clears throat> the season seems to end. Mm -hmm. And when it starts to slow down, then we don't need, uh, like, you know, somebody at the desk all day long mm -hmm. you know the morning is our busiest in the summer and then in the afternoons we can kind of take over like myself will be here or uh, Claudia mm -hmm. who is um, the head pro here and he's full-time we both can kind of share the responsibility of the desk in the afternoon and if we need help mm -hmm. We have people out here that I can say, can you come <laughs> over and, and help? help? But we cover, don't yeah. we don't need to officially uh, have somebody here nonstop mm -hmm. like we do in the season. We could probably use two people yeah. sometimes at one time up there when it gets you know busy. Yep, yep. So the courts look great. Have have you done some recent work on them? Yes, thanks to thanks to the town, we've uh, basically the one through six out here are basically brand new courts. Um, one through three were done two years, maybe three years ago, brand new, a new underground watering mm -hmm. system, which has been a, a mm -hmm. major blessing because that that took up lots of mm -hmm. maintenance time keeping that uh, under control. And then just this past summer, we did four through six, brand new, new underground, and that, that that's actually been a huge thing um, for me for sure because the watering system took up a lot mm. of time trying to keep that balanced and I feel I feel like sometimes oh my gosh I should check the water and then I go oh I don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to yes. <laughs> um, along with across the street this past year we just had them re resurfaced mm -hmm. which is a quicker job so right now the courts are in really good shape and I think that's the main thing that people love when they come out that every you know the court is good as I was walking up this morning, uh, one of the members um, pulled me aside and just said, I just have to tell you, the courts out here look so good and perform so well. So yeah, they, 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 they are. recognize it, that. It does make a difference. It yeah. makes them happy. Yeah, and so are there other projects planned over the next year or two that um, you want to share with our residents? Um, well, in, I, th I believe this summer we're going to have um, all the fencing done, mm -hmm. all of all the courts, which that's going to be the, huge. And these, this is probably the original fencing that was it put is. in. It is. One through six is original. We've, we've done a lot of piece milling, mm -hmm. but I mean, all the posts and everything, I, I mean, it, honestly, they've lasted over 20 yeah. years for the most part, um, but they really that's going to be a huge thing. People are going to be very, very happy about that. Across the street, those need it the most, so that's that's going to be also very um, helpful. And I know everybody's going to be, that's going to be a highlight for yeah. the people that play here. Good. And I know the commission just recently approved the budget amendment would then allow us to do all that at one time, where originally it was going to occur over a series of years. So that's yes. going to be exciting to see all that done. It, it really is. I yeah. mean, that's, that's going to be a big a big plus yeah. for the tennis center to have new courts and new fencing and then we just maintain from there you know the next phase will be courts one through three we don't have to mm -hmm. have brand new but we'll get them resurfaced new lines um, and that we're on a cycle that you know each one each block gets taken care of say every third year mm -hmm. so um, and just having the new underground system that's that's going to last a long time and uh, really will be a, a big asset well no good well thank you for everything you do thanks for uh, keeping the tennis center on track and growing and a very active place for our community uh, it's in a great location i think you know it's it's here in what we kind of are now calling the town center area and it actually backs up to the town center green yes. long term there's plans to put a bridge here between the tennis center and the green to have connectivity so for events and activities and tournaments there'll be that ability to walk back and forth between the two properties yeah. and we had a lot of people coming this way yes. um, for the uh, the latest uh, not the market the market they all 
were coming by and uh, everybody seemed really happy with it. Okay. No oh, good. Well, again, thank you for joining us well, today. Thank you too. Yeah, and I want to thank our residents for tuning in to this edition of Talk of the Town. And if you haven't driven by or stopped by or, or went into the store for to look at the merchandise, please feel free to do so and say hi to Kay when you're out here. Thank you.